Hey guys, Jared here, and this is going to be a pretty quick video. Today we're going to be looking over a framework that I found that makes it super simple to add GIFs or GIFs, however you feel like saying it, into your Xcode project. I just found a framework online that helps out with the process a ton, and I'm using it in my own project, so I felt like I'd share it with you guys. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the framework that I'm talking about will be linked in the description down below if you want to check it out yourself, but it is by Balo, and it is called Swift GIF. So let's go ahead and learn how to implement this into our application. Now there are a few ways of going about this. As you can see, you can install it via CocoaPods or Carthage, but what I found actually is this whole framework is really just based around one file. So what you can do is go into the Swift GIF common right here, click on that, and then you just have UI image plus GIF, and then Swift. This is the only file you need to get this up and running. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that file right there and put it into my project so that we can avoid any more bulk that, than what we already have in our project. So let's go ahead and go over to Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application. Go ahead, click next, and our product name, you can of course call this whatever you want. This is gonna be your own project, but I'll call this GIF. Now go ahead and say next and create. All right, so here we are on our project, and the first thing that I wanna do in order to see the GIF that I'm gonna be putting in there is go into my main.storyboard, and I'm gonna go ahead and implement a UI image view. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and click and drag that right inside of my project like so. Now that I have this image view, I'm just gonna go ahead and center that to make things easier. And then I'm just gonna set up some constraints real quick. All right, so there I have it. Now my UI image view is centered in the middle of the scene. Now let's go ahead and implement that Swift GIF into our project. So the way that we do this, I'm gonna go ahead and say file, new, file. And then this file right here is just going to be the Swift file. And I'm just gonna go ahead and call this my Swift plus GIF. And then it's just gonna be a .swift file. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that. And then now that we have that file created, the next thing we need to do is just go back over here to my Swift GIF, UI image plus GIF uh, .swift file right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of this stuff right here, copy it and paste it. And this is everything you need to do to get up and running to loading GIFs inside of your UI image view. So let's just go ahead and look through this code for a little bit. So right here you have extension UI image view in which you have load GIF. So what this is going to do is if we were to go into our view controller.swift file, uh, let's go ahead and hook up our UI image view. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my UI image view here and just connect it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this my GIF view, connect that, and now I can reference this. And then now that we have that file, if we go back over here to our Swift GIF uh, .swift file and hit Command S to save it, because otherwise you can't reference it, let's go back over here to our view controller .swift file, and now we should be able to say my GIF view dot, and then we can say load GIF, and then you can put in the name of the GIF that you want to load in there. That's all you need really. Now before I explain more things inside of this extension UI image where you can change the duration at which the GIF scrolls through, uh, let's go ahead and start, let's go ahead and implement a GIF into that UI image view. So if we go back over here to our view controller.swift, again we have GIF view.load GIF. And now we can go ahead and load in a certain GIF that we have in our project. So this is the GIF that I'm gonna be working with. It's just a collection of about 250 images and we're just gonna be scrolling through it and we can set a certain delay for each of the images that we're scrolling through, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get this implemented into our project. So the way that we do this is we go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down. And then just by clicking on the file that I have right up here on the icon, I can easily click and drag that right over there. Now, GIFs do not go inside of your assets.xc assets. So you wanna make sure that the destination is set to copy items if needed and add to targets will be equal to GIF. Now go ahead and say finish. And now we have that implemented into our project. And now we can easily grab that GIF inside of our project. So, so if we look at our name right here, I named it GIF.GIF for whatever reason. So we can go ahead and put in that name, GIF, just that first part of the name right there. You don't need the extension in this sense. You just put the first part of the name. It's gonna go ahead and take that GIF and load it into our view. So let's go ahead and build and run this and let's see where we're at. All right, well, this is building and running. Let me know if you're getting triggered by the way that I'm saying GIF. All right, so here we have it. This is my GIF and as you can see, it has loaded up inside of my UI image view and it's done. I mean, that's pretty much it. You can you can leave it there and that's the GIF that you loaded up. It's gonna be scrubbing through all these images. It looks like the images are scrubbing through slowly, but if you actually look at my GIF that I created, it scrubs through basically three images before it switches to the next image. 
Anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, basically, we just have it scrubbing through a certain amount of images at a certain amount of time. So now let's go ahead and see if we can change up how fast this scrubs through each of these images. So the way that I'm gonna do this is go over here to my swift plus gif dot swift function right here. And then down here, you can see that delay for image at index and this is where you're going to be messing with the delay. So I'm going to go ahead and change the delay to 0.5 seconds here, but also you need to change it down here as well. So if delay is less than 0.5, and then we're also going to say delay equals 0.5 right there. So what we're changing right here is the amount of time that it takes to change to the next image in your GIF. So again, I have three images in a row. So that means every 1.5 seconds, it's going to switch over to that next image and that's what we should see. So let's go ahead and build and run this and let's see what we have. All right, so there we have it. Now we have changed the delay of this. So as you can see, it's going through that GIF much slower than before. Uh, again, I have about three or four images in a row before it switches to the next one. So it's taking about two seconds, but if you were in a normal circumstance where it changes the frame, uh, every frame, then it would be changing every 0.5 seconds to the next frame. Again, I was just mainly trying to show that it is very easy to change the speed at which you want that GIF to play. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, this is just a very simple framework that you can implement into any project to add GIFs into your project. Again, I use this in my own project, so if you found this helpful in any way, uh, be sure to let me know, and also subscribe to see more videos like this from me in the future. Anyway, have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I was still recording. Yay! Usually my camera shuts off pretty quick.